what's up guys welcome back to my channel where i talk about men's fashion and vintage fashion yes new hair color now are flaming cheetos this thursday i'm going to portugal how to prepare my luggage and i'm so excited so uh this is the last video that i will do with this setup and today we're going to talk about how to style vintage glasses In the early 1920s, the use of sunglasses started to become common, especially among movie stars. Inexpensive mass-produced sunglasses made from celluloid were first produced by Sam Foster in 1929. Aviator sunglasses feature oversized teardrop-shaped lenses and a thin metal frame. The design was introduced in 1936 by Bosch and Lomb for issue to the US military aviators. As a fashion statement, aviator sunglasses are often made in mirrored, colored, and wrapped around styles. The model first gained popularity in the 1940s, when Douglas MacArthur was seen sporting a pair at the Pacific Theater. However, it was in the late 1960s when the frames became widely used with the rise of the epic counter culture, which preferred large metallic sunglasses. The brand became an icon in the 1970s, worn by Paul McCartney and Freddie Mercury among others, and was aviator sunglasses with disco culture led to a decline in their popularity by 1980. Thanks to movies like Top Gun and Cobra, the aviator sunglasses regained their popularity. Aviators became popular again around the 2000s, as the EP movement was popular again. Pro-line glasses are a style of eyeglass frames which were very popular during the 1950s and the 1960s. The name derives from the fact that the bold upper part of the frames framed the lenses in the same way the eyebrows framed the eyes. The glasses were first produced by Sharon LTD in the 1947 under the Ronsir brand and quickly emulated by various other producers. The design became the most common style of eyeglasses throughout the 1950s and the early 1960s. Pro-line glasses became popular again during the 1980s and the 2010s with the rise of the retro style and hipster subculture. Oversized sunglasses were fashionable in the 1980s. They usually come in bright colors with colored lenses. The singer Elton John sometimes wore oversized sunglasses on stage in the mid-1970s as a part of his Captain Fantastic act. Since the late 2000s, Oversized sunglasses have become a fashion trend. There are many variations such as the Onassis discussed below and the Dior white sunglasses. Onassis sunglasses or JKOs are very large sunglasses worn by women. This style of sunglasses is said to mimic the kind of most famously worn by Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis in the 1960s. The glasses continue to be popular with women and celebrities may use them to hide from paparazzi. Shutter shades were invented in the late 1940s, became a fad in the early 1980s, and have experienced a revival in the early to the mid 2010s. Instead of tinted lenses, they decreased the sun exposure by means of a set of parallel horizontal shutters. These shades, also called John Lennon glasses, round metal, or granny sunglasses, were a type of psychedelic art wire rim sunglasses that were often worn by the members of the 1960s counterculture. Pop icons such as Mick Jagger, R Roger Daltrey, John Lennon, Jerry Garcia, Boy George, Liam Gallagher, Sox, Oxy Osborne, John Cryer, Pretty in Pink, Jodie Foster, and Taxi Driver all wore T-shades. The original T-shade design was made up of a medium-sized perfectly rounded lenses supported by pads on the bridge of the nose and a thin wire frame. When T-shades became popular in the late 1960s, they were often elaborated. The Ray-Ban Wayfarer sunglasses are produced by the Ray-Ban company. Introduced in 1952, the trapezoidal lenses are wider at the top than the bottom and were famously worn by James Dean, Roy Orbison, Elvis Presley, Bob Marley and the Beatles and other actors and singers. The original frames were black. 
frames in many different colors were later introduced. There is often a silver piece at the corners as well. Since the early 1980s, makers have also developed the variants of the model, most notably the Clubmaster model, introduced in 1982, essentially bro lines made of plastic. These were mostly popular in the late 1950s and during the 1960s. In the late 1970s, the rise of the new wave music, new romanticism, and the popularity of the Blues Brothers, aside from 50s and 1960s nostalgia, and the anti-disco backlash later, brought the model out of the popularity. 1980s nostalgia and the influence of the Ipsar subculture and the television series Mad Men boosted Wayfarers once again after Islam in the 1990s and 2000s, also aided by a 2000 redesign. Wraparounds are a style of sunglasses that are being strongly curved to wrap around the face. They were first made in the 1960s as variants of the aviator model, used by Yoko Ono and Clint Eastwood in the Dirty Airy films. The modern variants surged in the 1980s, heavily based on the then popular Wayfarer, but adapting it to a more futuristic look. As the backlash against 80s fashion occurred in the 1990s, wraparounds became one of the favorite frames of the decade. So at the moment, I have four sunglasses. So those are my rectangular sunglasses that I took from Flying Tiger this summer and are awesome. They are all black. And the shades are lighter. They were 5 euros so it was an amazing deal. And at the moment I use those sunglasses especially for 90s fits and now we show you on the pics on which fits I wear them. These are my Vitro sunglasses that my dad took from the thrift. And I usually wear those sunglasses with uh, 60s and 70s feet. And now we show you on the pics on which outfits I wear those sunglasses. Those are my Ray-Ban vintage sunglasses I took from the thrift. And I wear them mostly on 80s and 90s fits, especially if they are colorful. And I think those are one of my favorite sunglasses. These are my new sunglasses. I took them also from Flying Tiger and they were 5 euros so this is another amazing deal. They are blue and the shades are lighter. They have a strange shape so I didn't style them and probably I will use those glasses on 70s outfits or crazy outfits with
so guys hope you like this video like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you will know when i put my next video and if you want a more detailed video on sunglasses comment below and i will see you very very soon guys hasta la vista Thank you.